Oh, hello. <laughs> and we're going to do a 42 video uh, here at UBC. I'll title it The Host and Vibes. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm recording this like almost two days later now, right? So <laughs> you can tell that I've been having a great time. <laughs> um, so yeah, actually, this is like the most condensed flashcard of like notes I've had for the entire time. So let's get through it, guys. <laughs> um, woke up really tired because I got like six five and a half hours of sleep, but like a nice like hot shower woke me up, whatever. Um, went over to AppSci, it would have, like the, the class is straight up just like a waste of time, like 40, like an hour of lecture, and like I didn't take any notes. And like, I actually haven't taken any notes all semester long so far. And like, I swear like the things we talked about are like so random, as in like, at one point we literally had like two kinds of feedback given by like different people to the same person, right? And it's like, which feedback is better? And feedback A is like, I like your presentation. This could have been improved. Overall, great job. And then, or then like, uh, B is like, this sucked, this sucked, this sucked, you should have done this, or this, this, or this, this, or this, right? And then they're like, which one's better, right? And whatever. And like, <clears throat> and like, it led to like a really big discussion or whatever. And like, the instructor asks the class like, so, what is type like that type A called, right? Where you say like something nice, not nice, nice, and like a girl raises her hand and like yells out across the entire class, a shit sandwich, and like <laughs> that caught me off guard, and I'm pretty sure it caught the instructor off guard too, because it was like oh, <laughs> and like the class started laughing. It was, it, that was funny, but yeah, <laughs> the confidence to say that in a lecture hall of like 200 people is kind of crazy. Whatever, after I went to physics, physics is confusing as fuck right now because uh, I haven't gone to the better physics professor's lectures plus I'm not trying to learn this content as much because it won't be on the midterm so I don't want to like over exert myself if that makes sense so like, but like trying to just get by is very difficult too so yeah, the entire class people are like looking around super confused after that I came back, had like a quick breakfast to just trying to eat up kind of thing. Um, my old brother was coming over, so I went and cleaned my room. I didn't want to get bullied by him. <laughs> uh, so I kind of there like, took out the trash, whatever, vacuumed. There's a stupid amount of dust in my room. Like, I don't know where this much dust comes from. Like, I get that I have, like, a lot of people in my room most of the time, but, like, it's way too much dust for a room, like, this small. It's, I don't know, weird. And, yeah. Then I grinded some assignments, um, worked on like a finished. I rewrote the physics tutorial I did a couple of days ago and like finished up a chemistry assignment. One of the questions was just like way too hard and like outside of like our skill level. And like I couldn't do it. Or, like I could sort of do it, but like I was half assing it and like guessing. Uh, so like I just like submitted whatever I could. I like I literally wrote. This content was not covered in our lectures this week, like I'm unable to do this and like I just like hoped for the best. Actually luckily these haven't got graded super quickly so I ended up getting full marks on it, but like like what the hell? Like I know I know for a fact I did not do that assignment correctly, so like, well, I don't know who's grading this and what's going on, but whatever. I'll take a hundred where I can get it, right? Especially in chemistry. <laughs> um Yeah, then my older brother came over. Uh, we played some pool. That was fun. He's actually really good. I guess years of college practice have <laughs> paid off. Um, he wiped the floor with me, but it's okay. I had one shot where I had two of my balls score, so I win, you know? I don't know. <laughs> he didn't have that. <laughs> um, and yeah. So, sorry. Then. I lied. I had a salad before my old brother came over because of, you know, eating healthy and whatnot. So yeah, out of order because it's hard to follow what I wrote down on the flashcard. <laughs> um, whatever. And then after we played pool, we like talked a bit and whatnot. And then like we went to the store and needed to buy, like toilet paper deodorant, like paper towels. And I promised myself some chips and like uh, being like $40. And I'm like, well, that's a lot. Like it's a lot of money because like, it's like seven dollars for like a stick of deodorant. And that's like this, like one of the lower prices. I think like the other prices were like eight, nine dollars. And like you're looking at this, you're like what the hell? And then like toilet paper was like twenty three dollars or whatever, right? I, f I found like the cheapest one for like seventeen. I was like hell yeah. 
I mean, whatever, just like prices are crazy. Like ten dollars for two bag of chips. Like sure, like big ones, but like it's a lot of money, people. I don't know. Budgeting is hard. <laughs> um, then yeah, came back. I had a lunch. Um, then I don't know. I don't remember what I did between lunch and dinner. I chilled in my room. I'm pretty sure. I just like I watched somewhere La La Land. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yet to finish the movie up. This is like my second time sitting down to watch it and like I'm like two thirds done now so like I think after I record this video I'm gonna finish up all of it actually. Um, but yeah, then I went to grab dinner. Uh, like I got to like a good stopping point in the movie. Um, and then at that point I like I met up with like some other people I knew and like plans started being made so I came back to my dorm. I played with like Fall Guys with my older brother. Um, but then like People are like, okay, like, we're gonna go be watching a movie, so I'm um, like, kind of bailed on my older brother a bit. I don't feel great about that, but like, whatever, he, he, he was fine with it, I think. Um, speaking of which, I, I told you this was gonna be out of order. <laughs> when my older brother came over, he like brought presents and whatnot. Uh, he gave me like a poster, like Nissan Skyline R34, and Paul Walker's car, from, like, Too Fast, Too Furious. Um, it's like my, one of my favorite cards, like, it's like a late birthday present kind of thing. Uh, and then he also gave me like this pen. First of all, it's super, super cute. But second of all, it actually writes super, super well. Like I wrote this entire flashcard with it and like, mm, it's actually so much better than the pens I have on hand right now. So I'm gonna fly through this, I know for a fact. Um, yeah. So back to the story. Um, played Fall Guys, then like I went watched a movie with some friends, we watched Borat, which is man, a whole, it's such a racist movie, but like, it, it, interesting to see how like everyday people react, that's for sure, Interest, interesting movie, that's the number one way to describe it, and then the secondary definition will probably be funny, <laughs> it is funny by all means, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then after I like talked a bit, uh, some friends, but like it was getting close, like 2 a.m. and people were getting tired, obviously. So, like, the group kind of split up, and like it's 2 a.m. and like I'm not tired, I'm like <laughs> I don't want to go to bed, you know. <laughs> uh, so my I, I was feeling extroverted, so like I went up to my floor, and like on my floor lounge, there was like people there, drunk people, but like uh, <laughs> I joined them and I just like became part of the friend group for, <laughs> for the evening. There was a lot of drama going on, like, half the people were drunk, half the people were, like, getting sober, it was... It, it was so much was going on, it was loads of fun and loads of just, like, shenanigans everywhere. Um, at one point we, like, all moved to, like, somebody's room. But, like... That room just, like, wasn't nice. Like, I don't know how to explain it, it wasn't messy. Well, but, like, it was just... The vibes weren't good in the room, you know? And like, as, as like conversations are shifting, like friend, not friend groups, but like pairs of people, I guess, are shifting. Like conversations, like basically like a guy and a girl start getting closer. So like, we're like, hey, like let's move to my room kind of thing. Uh, so like give privacy or whatever. Um, so yeah, went to my room and like people walk in, they're like, oh yeah, this is so much nicer. Like the vibes in the room were like immaculate. Cause like, the other person's room, like, they didn't even have any, like, extra lights. Well, I'm not hating any anyway, like, honestly, like, waste of money in a way, but, like, we're sitting there and we literally have, like, the overhead lights turned on, and, like, it's just bright. But, like, here, like, we walk in, it's just, like, neon signs and, like, those lights on the tapestry hanging up. It's, like, it's pretty. My room's also really neat because I had just, like, cleaned up literally earlier that morning, so, like, everything's great. I'm like, I set out like cups of water. I'm like, hey, for all y'all drunk people, <laughs> drink water, <laughs> right? Like, everyone's like, oh, everyone's like, oh my god, you're such a good host, whatever. They said the vibes in my room were better than the ones in the lounge, and the lounge has really comfortable chairs. Right? I mean, I'll hear people are like sitting on the floor, so big achievement. <laughs> um, you know, I also like played music. When you have aux, it's really freaking difficult, or not difficult, but like you really have to try to read the room well to like see where the vibes are going. Like sometimes you like switch to like love songs, sometimes you switch to like hype songs or like like the weekend, then like to Bruno Mars or then like some like lo fi if the conversations are getting a bit more intense. Or like not intense, but like 
if people are more engaged in the conversation than the music. So it's like balancing everything. It's like a juggling act, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. Um, yesterday was some like the most abysmal flirting I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even gonna lie. Like there was like basically like three pairs kind of forming and like, bro, the flirting was just so bad. <laughs> like, holy crap. Like it's not like they were like saying like cheesy pickup lines, but like, oh my God, like it was, you, it was so obvious. And also like the people being flirted with, obviously like we're not reciprocating, but like the people just like couldn't pick up on the social cues or whatnot. It was just like, like I was just sitting here like, observing and I'm like, yikes, this is like terrible. <laughs> like at one point, like there was like a girl hugging a guy and the guy's there like standing like a tree, like stiff as hell. And then like, at one point there was like, a guy was like flirting with a girl. He was like, asking her like all about her major. And, um, and like, she didn't want to talk about school, but like he just kept asking questions about it. And like, he's like, that's so interesting. Oh my God. And like faking enthusiasm. And nah, man, it was, it was so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, but whatever. Everybody still had a good time, I'm pretty sure. Um, nobody threw up in my room. Or, you yeah, know, everybody. So, hell yeah. Basically, everybody sobered up in my room and then went home at 5 a.m., 5.30. So, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun night. Just vibes, kind of conversations. Yeah talked about shows. I feel like I didn't watch enough shows in my childhood or maybe in high school, I don't know, but like, I, I'm still behind. <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe something for me to do here in college. <laughs> I don't have time to watch anything. <laughs> it's, it's taken, it's gonna be like three attempts for me to finish watching La La Land. Like, <laughs> nah, <laughs> I don't have time, people. <laughs> um, but yeah. Fun night, stayed up until 5.30, right? So I was not gonna record a video at that time. Even though I wasn't actually that tired, but I'm just like, I know for a fact nothing coherent will come out of my mouth at 5.30. So I, I'm like, I'll come back to this tomorrow. Yeah, so that'll be it. It was a good day. I hope you guys are doing good. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys when I record the day 43 video in a couple hours. So yeah, thank you, bye.